குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12 contact 9025895176 metric 6212 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in now the processes of recombinant dna technology in process of for recombinant dna technology first side heading that is is isolation of genetic material or the isolation of dna ema so this is a first side heading so there what is the point you now nucleic acid the nucleic acid is a genetic material of of all living organisms so that's we know very well so definitely nucleic acid is acting as a genetic material in all living organisms without any exceptions so that point directly only we can understand so but uh, here what is the point you know in a majority of the organisms ema in a majority of the organisms you no know, dna is a genetic material why because here our knowledge concern nucleic acids are two types are there ema yeah, one is dna and one more is rna so means definitely in all living organisms either dna or rna must be there ema yeah, means here in all organisms you no know, or all living organisms definitely we can find the presence of nucleic acid but most of the living organisms in most of the living organisms deoxyribonucleic acid or the dna is genetic material ema yeah, so in most of the living organisms uh, genetic material is dna or deoxyribonucleic acid nucleic acid now in order to cut the dna so in order to cut the dna with the restriction enzymes in order to cut the dna with the restriction enzyme it needs to be pure form means here definitely so if you would like to cut the which one dna with the restriction enzymes no so definitely only dna only you have to take so we should not take uh, uh, rna or other kind of macro elements we should not take definitely pure form of dna only is required i am a pure form pure form is nothing but so there uh, rna or other kind of proteins or any kind of macro molecules should not be there so in order to cut the dna with the restriction enzymes it needs to be the pure form okay pure form free from the other macro molecules i said or not yeah, ma? so means here definitely pure form of a dna definitely is required and there is no and uh, there is no chance they should not uh, or we should not maintain any kind of macro molecules along with the dna at the time uh, suppose if along with the dna suppose uh, uh, any kind of uh, macro molecules are there means at the time uh, we should not call that particular uh, contain uh, that particular thing as pure form means there only dna must be there and that must be free from other macro molecules so since the dna is enclosed with the many membranes so there are different types of membranes are there suppose if you take uh, outermost membrane so suppose the cell wall will be there within the cell wall cell membrane is there and here within the uh, within the cytoplasm again nuclear membrane is there likewise there are different types of membranes are there we have to break uh, we have to break the cell to amma um, we have to, we have to break the cell open to release the dna so means in this particular case no definitely in order to obtaining of or in order to get the uh, dna definitely we have to break the different types of membranes so that is information they are giving 
so to open the release of or release dna along with the other macromolecules means first of all so in order to obtaining of dna so when we are going to cut the membranes you know so there are different types of membrane also are there now along with all membrane or uh, along with all macromolecules dna also will be there now what we have to do is so these macromolecules all these macromolecules except dna we have to digest so there first of all let us see what are the macromolecules are present in the cells means roughly now let us take rna will be there uh, proteins will be there polysaccharides we can see and lipids also we can see means rna proteins polysaccharides lipids likewise there are different types of macromolecules we can be seen but all these macromolecules now we no need to take which one we needed pure form of dna is needed so in this particular case now this can be achieved so how we can be obtained means the treat of uh, so now here if you would like to do the experiments if you would like to do the experiments in bacterial cell no so or if we can do the experiments in plant cells or we can do the experiments in animal tissue so wherever you want to do so there we can be done so how suppose if you would like to do the or if you would like to take the bacterial dna means so here bacterial cell wall must be digested so am i here you see there bacterial cells are digested by the lysozyme enzyme and one uh, cellulase cellulase a s c m cellulase definitely we will be used for the breakdown of plant cell wall and chitinase definitely we will be used for the breaking of a fungal cell wall so likewise there are different types of enzymes are there am one more time lysozyme enzyme for breaking of bacterial cell wall cellulase enzyme for the breaking of a plant cell wall and chitinase enzyme for the breaking of a fungal cell wall likewise there are various uh, types of uh, enzymes are there which are involved in the breaking of uh, cell walls or different types of cell walls okay, so now here so when we will be cutting initially just we are cutting the all cell walls so there definitely when we will be removing the cells you know, at the time you now so what are the uh, contents or what is the content is present within the cell no definitely that will be coming that will come out yeah, ma. so in that particular case no that particular thing definitely consist of uh, macromolecules along with the macromolecules dna will be there no so that is uh, information now now you know that the genes are located on the long molecules of a dna intertwined with proteins such as histone proteins so this one really only we know so why because this explanation already i have given in a molecular basis of inheritance emma so means what is information they are giving so here uh, dna or the genes are located uh, along with the molecules of dna intertwined with the proteins known as histone so so their uh, histone proteins are there so long molecules of why because uh, here in a packaging of dna helix we have seen histone proteins there are different types of histone proteins h2a h2b h3 h4 likewise so we have seen there so definitely for intervening of which one so definitely for the circular or for the coiling of dna definitely which one is required histone proteins are definitely required yeah, so that point we have seen now rna can be removed now here there are different types of macromolecules are there now so there are different types of macromolecules now let us concentrate on this one so rna can be removed or rna is uh, um, can be removed by the treatment with the ribonuclease so here in order to removal of or in order to removing of rna so what is the enzyme we have to use means ribonuclease enzyme next one uh, whereas uh, proteins suppose if you would like to digest the proteins so here uh, we have to use the protease enzyme next one uh, other molecules means uh, here lipids also are there no so here i uh, they didn't give information regarding lipids but lipids can be digested with the lipids emma lipase enzyme so likewise next one other molecules can be removed by appropriate treatments so, so here means uh, suitable to treatments uh, uh, they are asking to follow but what are the techniques names you know they didn't give but uh, suppose in order to or if you'd like to remove uh, other kind of molecules from that entire sap or liquid no so if you follow appropriate techniques definitely so we can remove uh, we can remove all kinds of uh, materials now at the time no 
definitely we can uh, we can uh, obtain pure form of dna my dear students here one point you have to remember that point is so here dna is dna is enzyme you should not use or deoxyribonuclease enzyme we should not use suppose if you use uh, dna or deoxyribonuclease means what will be happen there dna also will be digested if dna is also digested means then what you will isolate m yeah. so did you understand so that's why here we will use all types of enzymes for removal of all types of macro uh, macro elements except uh, dna and except deoxyribonuclease a s e yeah. so deoxyribonuclease so why because so when you will digest uh, uh, all these macro macro elements or the macro which one macro molecules by using of different types of enzymes then only we will find purified form of dna yeah, so this is the thing is required sir if you obtain this purified or purified dna then what you will do sir means now ultimately the precipitates out means finally so we will observe the the formation of precipitation how it will be no so exactly when you will suffer from the cold when you will suffer from the cold no so you will sneeze you will sneeze at the time no you will see the material so in your hands exactly same color same uh, like that only so purified form of dna we can be observed or emma so you can be obtained so that kind of thing only so we will be studying after the addition of chilled ethanol so this kind of a purified form of dna ultimately precipitates out when definitely we can be see the formation of a purified form of dna in in the form of precipitation so after the addition of chilled ethanol so chilled ethanol so here they didn't give clearly so but uh, uh, our practical is concerned what how we have we will add this chilled ethanol no? on the walls or at the walls of the test tube so on the walls of the test tube when we will uh, like a drop by drop we will uh, release the or we will pour the which one chilled ethanol no? at the walls of the test tube so in that particular case no, definitely purified form of uh, dna ultimately precipitates out so we have seen so we have done i mean we done this experiment means not in the presence of you for your seniors i have given explanation so when you people will come to the lab now that time uh, i'll explain uh, so this one isolation of dna in our laboratory conditions now here up to here okay okay now the last point also is there that can be seen as uh, collection of uh, fine threads so, so here there we can be seen like fine thread like uh, uh, structures we can be seen in suspension so likewise uh, some more uh, important points they have given now let us uh, have a look on this uh, information so that is is isolation of uh, dna or isolation of genetic material first of all so here the, what they have given no so there are uh, uh, they, there uh, there are different types of uh, macro molecules are there so all these macro molecules we have to digest uh, so if you would like to get the purified form of dna so in this particular case no we can by using of our techno technological things no so we can remove all different types of macro molecules so suppose if you would like to uh, remove the if you would like to remove the rna ribonuclease enzyme and if you would like to remove the uh, which one proteins uh, protease enzyme and if you would like to remove the lipids lipase enzyme and likewise by using of different types of appropriate methods definitely we can remove the different types of materials which are present in the cytoplasm as well as nucleoplasm so then so definitely we can find out of definitely we can get the purified form of dna ultimately so that is precipitates out so when once uh, if you and chilled ethanol at the walls of the test tube emma yeah, so we have to use only chilled ethanol for the uh, for the obtaining of a pure form of dna next one so how it will be means so this particular dna will be like fine threads so like a thread like structures we can be seen in entire precipitation so this particular thread like uh, uh, this fine thread like structures so we can be separated by using of spooling method spooling 
so spooling method so spooling method definitely we will be using for the separation of dna so dna so means in order to obtaining of dna what is the method generally we will follow means spooling method we will follow so likewise definitely we can obtain pure form of dna as fine threads so that particular thing we can be separated by the spooling method next one next thing what is the cutting the cutting of dna at a specific location so now we have the dna emma we have a dna now we obtain no so by using of a first step we have obtained emma we obtained that particular dna so that particular dna what we have to do is we have to cut uh, so at specific locations emma so to cut uh, at specific locations definitely now we have to take the help of can you guess we have to take the help of in the first line only I have written now which one is required restriction enzyme is required definitely restriction enzyme restriction enzyme or a restriction endonuclease is there now Emma so restriction enzymes two types now one is exonuclease and one more is endonuclease now there um, restriction endonuclease enzyme definitely we will use Emma now restriction enzyme digestions are the digest the or digestions or performed by the incubating purified DNA molecule with the restriction enzyme means here what we have to do restriction enzyme as well as pure form of DNA we have to keep for few days means combinedly like uh, those mavo mummy how we will prepare now like uh, rice and rice flour as well as one more uh, the, what is that uh, uh, like a uh, black gram yes so how mummy will put now so likewise these two means one is restriction enzyme as well as purified form of DNA we have to keep for incubation so in that particular case so what will be happen now so at the optimum conditions when by keeping off these two at one place so when you will maintain optimum conditions for the specific enzyme so definitely that particular enzyme will cut this DNA uh, DNA into fragments so, so now we will be getting fragments so, so at the time sir uh, we have uh, first of all in a first step uh, we have we obtained purified uh, purified form of DNA now by using of restriction enzyme now we have cut in the uh, DNA into fragments now what we have to do sir means now so gel electrophoresis method means agarose gel electrophoresis method we have to employ it. so means why sir this one means already I have given explanation so this gel electrophoresis definitely helps for the separation of uh, DNA fragments based on the molecular weight so when we will be or we can separate the DNA fragments based on the molecular weight so by using of a technique known as gel electrophoresis so in this particular case now I asked to remember gel electrophoresis I asked to remember gel electrophoresis technique in uh, four different uh, uh, four different which one so four different so four different uh, uh, which one uh, no? four different uh, uh, side headings I asked to remember so what are those now you see there so first of all uh, ethereum bromide is required uh, ethereum bromide next one uh, like uh, UV light and one more is bright orange color and one more is yellowish and likewise there are different types of side headings we have to remember under the gel electrophoresis so here in a in a, in a gel electrophoresis technique in a gel electrophoresis technique definitely we will use uh, uh, agar agar gel that is only we have obtained from the red algae yeah, so next one so this gel electrophoresis is employed to check uh, the progress and uh, progression of restriction and digestion restriction enzymes digestion next one the DNA is a negatively charged molecule so, so this point we have learned in so many times so we have seen in so many times uh, uh, it is coming uh, so thereby so here a DNA is a negatively charged molecule so because of the presence of uh, because of the presence of because of the presence of which one am a passpate so here because of the presence of a passpate DNA getting negative charge so don't forget hence it moves towards the positive charged electrode anode but here so here what is the information now already this information everything we have learned so this process is repeated with the uh, vector dna so means here uh, not only he for or not only the center uh, means uh, the process of gel electrophoresis we have used for the separation of dna fragments am based on the molecular weight or the based on the length of dna we can separate means same kind of process the same kind of gel electrophoresis process we have to use uh, for the a vector or DNA also a 
repeat this process is repeated with the with the um, vector dna also don't forget this point also is important means the electrophoresis process we will done not only for the dna separation of dna fragments definitely we will use for the vector dna also m with a specific restriction enzyme we cut out uh, gene of interest gene of interest or a desirable gene or foreign gene or alien gene likewise or uh, four or five names are there gene of interest from the source of dna and cut vector with the uh, with the space or mixed okay mixed and ligase is added so here what is information now so by using of restriction enzymes so by using of restriction enzyme we have to cut the both uh, uh, both gene of interest as well as uh, plasmid or vector m so plasmid or vector and one more is uh, gene of interest or where where we will find where we will find the desirable characters now that particular uh, location we can be taken as gene of interest so means here one point i ask to remember that point is so what is the name of the restriction enzyme we are using for the cutting of uh, for the cut off or for the cutting of uh, dna now say same kind of or same type of restriction enzyme only you must use for cutting of plasmid also emma don't forget same kind of uh, uh, restriction enzyme we have to use for the cutting of both sources so when uh, this particular uh, desirable gene or uh, gene of interest we will be placing on uh, or we will be placing in uh, plasmid you know at the time definitely we can be seen the formation of recombinant dna already i told you over four or five times recombinant dna is nothing but the combination of two different types of genes together so there one is a plasmid dna is present and one more is newly inserted gene of interest or a desirable gene or foreign gene or alien alien gene or likewise there are different types of names are there but the content is the same so means here recombinant dna how this recombinant dna formation takes place means by the addition of a foreign gene with the plasmid so definite plasmid or vector definitely recombinant dna formation takes place emma now suppose now the, the okay one explanation is there that is also important that explanation is amplification of a gene of interest emma amplification of a gene of interest using pcr so this one so uh, if you are uh, going to write public examination so definitely this pcr technique definitely important uh, so try to learn very easily i'll explain for you so try to listen carefully now amplification amplification means jirax ma so jirax amplification means uh, like uh, multiplication so what is the mean multiplication or the amplification of a gene of interest means gene of interest means desirable gene is there no gene of interest or a foreign gene or the gene which has uh, good characters or novel characters so that one we can be multiplied uh, so by using of pcr pcr means here i have written pcr stands for polymerase chain reaction so polymerase polymerase chain reaction so in this particular case now in this reaction multiple amma you see there in this reaction multiple copies in this reaction in this reaction multiple copies multiple copies of a gene or the dna uh, dna of a gene of interest is synthesized in in vitro conditions so here once you see that so in amplification technique by using of pcr what we will do sir generally means uh, definitely we will do that uh, multiplication of gene of interest or the multiplication of a desirable gene so we will be synthesized in a laboratory conditions sir laboratory enge irukana in vitro ma in vitro is nothing but laboratory conditions emma so using of two sets of primers so now don't forget so here how many number of primers we will use means two sets emma two sets of primers we will use now the small so primers are nothing but what is the meaning of a primer means small chemically synthesized oligonucleotides that are complementary to the regions of dna emma so one more time the small chemically synthesized oligonucleotide that are complementary to the that are complementary to the regions of dna okay now you try to take that one so primers or nothing but or simply you can remember small chemically synthesized oligonucleotides emma so that one we can be taken as primer now and 
and what are the things are required along with prime mouse along with prime or enzyme one enzyme is required that is his dna polymerase enzyme am i in a molecular basis of inheritance chapter no so we learn no dna polymerase definitely helps in a polymerization from 5 frame to 3 frame direction likewise we see no so that one so same kind of enzyme is required so that particular enzyme name only dna polymerase the enzyme extend the primers using nucleotides so definitely so here the primers uh, uh, now only we learn no with the small uh, very small uh, uh, oligonucleotides you know so but uh, all these role will be extended uh, so extended where it is extended um, uh, here extends so by using of DNA polymerase enzyme okay now okay and uh, genomic DNA as template so here if the process of replication if the process of replication of DNA is repeated for many times the segment of the DNA can be amplified uh, to approximately billion times is achieved by the use of thermostable DNA polymerase uh, means isolated from the a bacterium that is his thermos aquaticus. Now here let me explain that information what is that now. So now so here uh, we will be using so in a piece your technique what is the name of the enzyme we are using no thermostable means thermos uh, which one thermostable uh, DNA polymerase enzyme we are using this is a thermostable DNA polymerase enzyme what is the uh, information of this one no definitely this particular enzyme we have been isolated from the thermos aquaticus yeah, so this particular and uh, this particular bacteria where it is present no this particular bacteria is present in uh, uh, like uh, like a hot springs like uh, in a discovery channel uh, we will see now so in that particular area you know so uh, hot springs means uh, the area uh, which will have hot water likewise so that will be coming out from the soil so such kind of uh, 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 atmospheric conditions our scientists so isolated uh, thermos aquaticus bacteria uh, from that thermos aquaticus bacteria they have isolated uh, this one tag polymerase or thermostable DNA polymerase tag polymerase or thermostable DNA polymerase both names are same mama. next one so amplified desirable gene is ligated so what is our desirable gene is ligated or no ligated with a vector no, means here after completion of a PCR and everything no so what is a gene we will be obtaining okay suppose if you multiply the desirable gene so that particular desirable gene now we will uh, we will uh, join we will ligate with the vector so that but after recombinant DNA formation takes place so that recombinant DNA we will uh, transfer into the host so likewise so PCR technique we can explain so now here uh, I would like to explain PCR technique uh, based on the diagram so that's why here a diagram also I have drawn once you see there so there are three steps are there in PCR three steps among first one is denaturation annealing extinction one more time denaturation annealing extinction in a denaturation so approximately what is the temperature we will use means 95 degrees uh, centigrade next one in annealing 55 degrees centigrade next one in extinction 72 degrees centigrade one more time in a denaturation 95 degrees centigrade in annealing 55 degrees centigrade and in extinction 72 degrees centigrade now first step is denaturation so in a denaturation the word itself giving information regarding denaturation that is is so now you see there here double standard DNA is there now in a denaturation process what will be happen now at 95 degrees centigrade so this double standard DNA that is is converted into two single standard DNA so now you see there so one is here and one more is here so now once the structure you observe there so first of all when these two strands are present together hydrogen bonds are in a normal situation but so in after denaturation process by using of 95 degrees centigrade now now hydrogen bonds are break down you see that here the gap is there emma so that process we will be calling as denaturation next one in annealing in annealing what is the process we will do means do not forget so definitely they will ask in net examination that is this addition of primers am I once you see there here you put arrow mark is there no addition of primers so you put addition of primers where we have to add sir means so exactly uh, opposite to the three prime of world stand Emma. so why we will add opposite to the uh, three frame old stand of uh, or three prime of a world stand suppose if you add at 
3 frame of world stand you now opposite one definitely starts with 5 frame now so our knowledge concerned definitely polymerization starts from the 5 frame to 3 frame direction Emma. so thereby so definitely polymerization takes place from the 5 frame to 3 frame direction that's why definitely primers we will add at opposite to the 3 frame of world stand if you add opposite to the uh, uh, world uh, 3 frame of world stand not definitely polymerization starts with 5 frame to 3 frame direction that's why in a diagram in information also we have seen addition of two sets of primers we seen so one uh, here means our knowledge concern here two stands are there now two single stands are there so here in a third frame opposite one primer we are adding so this side also opposite three frame another primer we are adding okay so now you see that this strand will move like that and here this polymerization will move like this so in extinction what is the point you know extinction the word itself giving information extinction is nothing but or extinction we will do at 72 degrees centigrade so in extinction what is the, uh, what is the information now with the help of dna polymerase enzyme Emma, with the help of DNA polymerase enzyme, polymerization takes place. So, thereby, when the polymerization process takes place, you know, so these two single standard DNAs, so, so here in one stand, here one more stand is there now, these two single standard DNAs definitely converted into two double standard DNAs. So, so here one and here one. So now you see that now you are observing two double standard DNAs now. So, likewise, so definitely definitely we can see definitely we can see the formation of two double standard dnas means early early we have taken one double standard dna only no so but after completion of three steps of a pcr technique now we are finding uh, two double standard dna 